Hey all, it's Josh with Battle Bond here, and I'm here with Rhett today. And uh, we're going to play some MESBG for you. Okay, why don't you walk us through your list today, Rhett? All right, so leading the list we have Balan, my lovely little alternative Balan model. He is leading three Vault Warden teams, two Dwarf Warriors with shields, three Kazagard, one of whom has been weapon swapped to have a two-ended mace. Then he has three Dwarf Warriors with bows, and two Dwarf Rangers with Dwarf Longbows and Throwing Axes. Then we have the Shield Bearer, who's just leading two Warriors with Dwarf Bows. And then the King's Champion with his Heralds. He's got three, no, four Dwarf Warriors with Shields, three Cas of Guard, one Warrior with a Bow, and two of the Rangers with Dwarf Longbows and Throwing Axes. And awesome. that is 600 points. Okay, so I'm bringing 600 points of Angmar for you guys today. So we'll start with the obvious choice, the Witch King. So he has three Might, 18 Will, three Fate. And with him, we have nine Orcs with Shield, Spear. We have a, an Orc with Shield, Spear, Banner. We have six Orcs with, they're all going to have Axes today and Shields. And then we have a Deadmarsh Spectre. And then the next group is going to be a Barrow White. And his group has eight orcs with bows, two orcs on uh, wargs with their dismounts, and another Deadmarsh Spectre. And then the last one is going to be a Barrow White and third Deadmarsh Spectre. And we've got six orcs with axes and shields, and three with spear and shield, and two more warg riders. The scenario we're playing today for you guys is Command the Battlefield. So here's kind of an overview of the table. You guys can see we have some cool looking dwarf terrain. So obviously Angmar is coming and in invading the dwarf homeland. Ooh. <laughs> so we're going to do our priority roll here to see who gets to try to come on first. Yeah. Yes. Take two. Three All right. and four. All right. So it looks like Angmar, Angmar is going to be rolling six. first. If you like what you're watching and want to help support the channel, check out our shop at etsy.com slash shop slash battle bond miniatures, where we sell a variety of proxy models, terrain, and game accessories by creators such as KZK Minis that can be used for a variety of tabletop games. Use our discount code up on the screen for 10% off your next order, and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and now back to the video. We're coming back to you guys with actually an end of round recap because of the Maelstrom deployment. So. The Witch King's Warband was able to come on over here. Uh, one of the Barrow White's Warband was able to come on over here near him. The other Barrow White, their Warband is on the opposite edge over here. And then uh, we have a, a couple of dwarves over here. <laughs> the only off. dwarves on the entire board. Yeah, that's right. And then so what happened with the other ones is uh, the one Warband rolled a one, so it wasn't coming on, and the other rolled a two, and it was mited down to a one. So neither of them are coming on this round. So we're just going to be moving on to the next round here. So priority roll. Five. Nice. And a five. five. So it's over to you. Goes to me. Okay. Would you like to Time call anything? Those, uh, a heroic runaway. <laughs> but no, no, no actual actions, I think. Yeah, nothing for so. me either. So uh, we'll come back to you guys after the movement phase. We're coming back to you guys with the Angmar movement phase. So you guys can see a bunch of dwarves came on over Surprise, here. Surprise dwarves. Yeah. And a bunch of dwarves came on over here. So what's going to happen is uh, this group is running. And right now the uh, Barrow White is going to try to paralyze the King's Champion. So we're throwing two dice at it. See how it goes. Looking for four up. So we got a six. he is paralyzed. All right. And with that, we are going to keep moving. We're coming back to you guys at the end of the round again. So movement, you can see the Angmar side kind of spread out over this way. Um, there was some shooting from the dwarves, didn't do anything. And obviously there's no combat. So we're going to go to the paralyzed check right now. All right, so King's Champion and four buddies. And there it is. He's right. back. So he's back up. He's still prone for next turn, so he's only moving half, but he is awake. And then uh, we just have our priority roll for next round. Ooh, big five. And a one. So Ooh. it is still the dwarves. Back. Would you like to call anything? Uh, no, I'm happy at this point. 
Yeah, me neither. So we'll come back at the end of the movement phase again. Coming back to you guys in the Angmar movement phase. So the Deadmar Spectre was able to move the Herald that was base to base with the King's Champion away over there. So now the Deadmar Spectre is going to try to paralyze him again. Barrel White's going to try to Sorry, the, the Barrel White's going to try to paralyze him again. Um, so we're going to throw two dice at it and see how it goes. So and we got a five high. Five. Um, do you want to try to resist? Paralyze again. Nope, he's nope. fine. Okay. So He'll wake up in a little while. <laughs> he's just going to hang out paralyzed over there. All mm. right, uh, we'll come back after some more movement. And in the movement phase, a lot of Angmar moving up. Um, we can see the dwarves are slowly closing in over there. And they kind of spread out over here. So we're going to do some orc shooting, see how effective that is, and come back to you guys at the end of that phase. Orc shooting does what orc shooting does and is completely ineffective. So mm. we're going to roll for priority. First, the uh, King's Champion. Ah, uh, yeah. Paralyzed Ooh. roll. See how it goes. Nothing. He's still paralyzed. Okay. So he's going to continue his nap. And then for priority. Five. So five again. Oh, my goodness. Four. Uh, so it's still dwarves. Um, would you like to call anything? Mm, yes. I'm going to call a heroic march with Balin. Okay, and Angmar again is going to call nothing. So we'll come back to you guys after the movement. Coming back for the Angmar movement, uh, the Witch King is now close enough to do something. So he's going to toss a black dart into this herald over here. So we're doing two dice, need a five. Uh, we got a six. All right. I will not resist. Okay. And they are... Defense eight. Uh, defense base seven base. base. Defense eight when in base contact with King's Champion. Yeah, but so that is an is. active rule, so I don't think it applies while the champion is paralyzed. I don't know how that works. Okay, so we're not 100% on if he gets the plus one armor or not, so uh, we're just going to say he doesn't for this one. So mm. let us know in the comments if you guys know one way or the other. So I'm looking for a three then to do a wound. So we got it. Boom. All right, and fate time. First fate. Nope. Second fate. Nope, he dies. All right. First that blood. is the danger of those heralds. Okay, so we'll come back after the rest of the movement. End of the movement phase. So you guys can see everything has moved up quite a bit from the Angmar side, except for these guys, they're chilling over there. The march, those guys are way up the board now. And then we're kind of congregating over here near hmm where the King's Champion came on. So uh, we'll come back with some shooting. We're at the end of the round again, so we did some shooting. These orcs shot into the dwarves, did nothing. The dwarves shot into the orcs, did nothing. So mm -hmm. we're just on to the paralyzed roll. All right, here we go. No, he's still paralyzed this round. All right, so priority then. Ooh, Ooh not a five this time. One? All right, Not six. a one. All right, nice. priority goes to Ingmar. Yeah, would you like to call anything? No, I think we're good. Take it yeah, away. Yeah, I'm good too. So we'll come back after some movement. Coming back to you guys with the Witch King once again. So he moved, so he's within 12 of the Herald over there. And he's going to toss another black dart into, the, into a Herald. And we're going to two dice it. So looking for fives. So I'll, I'll make the four up to a five. Do you want to do your reroll first? Oh, yeah, sorry. We'll do the reroll. So four, and we'll reroll this two, which is a All two right. again. Yeah, so we'll might up to a five. All right, we're going to spend our will this time. Sure. Looking for a five up. No. Then first fate, or no, you got to no, roll I got a wound. wound. Yeah. So this time it's for sure a three. Mm -hmm. So there's the and three. There we go. Fate, and second fate. He's dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Exact same rolls as last <laughs> yeah. guess. All right, so <laughs> Angmar is going to finish their move, and then the dwarfs will, and then we'll come back after the rest of the movement phase. So we're at the end of the movement phase here. So as you guys can see, these guys didn't really move. Um, these dwarves are coming closer, kind of forming a line over here with Angmar, mm -hmm. and then we'll see how this goes. These three are Could making their way closer. Pick a fight to with four. those four. <laughs> yeah, we'll see who's the best. Yeah, gee, I wonder. All right, so we'll do some shooting, and then we'll come back with the results of that in the end of the round. 
Shooting proved just as ineffective as always. Nothing died. So we're at the end of the round, so we're going to roll to see if the King's Champion gets back up. All right. He's got all his buddies splashing beer in his face. And two of them are effective enough, so he's back on his feet. Nice. And then uh, we just have our priority roll. Five? Not a five. Oh, it's over to dwarves. Nice. Would you Way like to call anything? No, I think we are We're fine. We're fine where we are at the moment. Okay, I also will call nothing. So we'll come back at the end of the move. We're coming back to you guys at the first activation of the Angmar movement phase. So it's going to be the Witch King. And he is going to toss a black dart into, what was this guy? Shield bearer. The shield bearer. So That's we, right we yeah, so we can get rid of the rerolls for courage checks. Um, so we're tossing two dice at a black dart at him. So mm -hmm. looking for a five. Um, no, so and a reroll. Yeah, we'll reroll the one, and we roll into a six. Goes off. Yep. Defense eight. Okay, so looking for a four. Mm -hmm. So there's a three. I'll might it up to a four. All right, he takes a wound. Okay. And then we'll finish up our movement. The end of the move phase. So obviously these guys still haven't really moved. Um, we have a big clump of orcs hanging out over here. Managed to get uh, this dwarf to move with the barrel white. So he got charged by some wargs. Um, these guys are hanging out over there. All these dwarves came up here and managed to get a charge on this one orc. Mm -hmm. And then we have some running over here. So we'll do some shooting and come back with that in some combats. So end of the shooting phase, um, some casualties finally happened. So we see a, a couple of the orc archers got killed with nothing in return. So we'll come back to you guys after the combats. End of the round for our combats, the warg riders managed to kill the dwarf. They charged and then the orc that got charged here got killed. So mm. basically one for one. So we're just on to our priority rolls. Let's see. And one. Oh, nice. So I just get it because you had it last time? Potentially. Yeah, I'm not going to spend a reroll on that. But I think I will call a heroic move with the shield bearer. Okay, I will not counter. So we'll come back after that. First activation in the movement phase for Angmar is once again going to be the Witch King. And we're tossing a black dart into, um, sorry, what's the hero? Shield bearer. The shield bearer. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be two dice. Looking for fives for that black dart. So we got there a five. We go. uh, I'll just re-roll this three in case I get a six. I don't have any will, so it doesn't really oh, matter. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> and four up, he's dead. All right. So looking for a four. So Ooh. there's a five. He's dead. So no more re-rolls. All right, so we'll finish up the movement, and we'll come back after that. So we're coming back to you guys with the Barrow White here, and he's going to try to paralyze Balin. So we're tossing two dice into it. Need a four. So we got a six. Okay, I will throw two dice to try to resist it. All right. That's a five. I will think I have to spend my last might. Remain unparalyzed. Yeah, so he is out of might. Okay. That is perfect. Mm. All right. We'll come back with some more movement. End of the movement phase. So you can see we kind of got stuck in a little bit over here. Um, went for a long bomb charge out there. And the dwarves are kind of moving up to come and engage Angmar. So there's not going to be any shooting from the Angmar side. So it'll just be some dwarves. So they'll do that, and then we'll come back with some combats. Shooting from the dwarves, uh, once again, did nothing. It's proving ineffective on both sides. Mm -hmm. So we're just coming to the end of the combat phase, and we're going to do Balin versus two orcs. And uh, they're both going to shield. Sounds good. You want to set me a bar, or should I go first? You go first. You, you get the six, and it's all over. All right. He takes it. Yep. And fours to kill. Two dead orcs. Okay. <laughs> that, that's why we start with him. So uh, that's it for combats. So we're just priority again. Yeah. Three. Three. 
And a six. Goes so, to you. Yep. And I don't... Oh, no. The King's Champion is might. He does have might, but I'm not going to call anything with him. Okay. And I have a might on the Witch King, but same thing. I'm not going to call anything with him. So okay. we'll just come back after some movements. The first activation for Angmar is going to be the Witch King. And he's going to toss a Transfix into Balin. So two dice. We need a three. <laughs> and one a and a two. We'll re-roll the one. And it gets up to a three. I will spend Balin's last will to resist that. Okay. So three up. Yep. And he resists it. Nice. He does, but he's now out of will. All right. So he's ripe for some paralyzing. That he is. Coming back to you guys with the Barrow White. So he is going to throw two dice out of Paralyze into Ball In over there. So we need a four. And we don't get it. <laughs> no Paralyzing. Uh, Not for that one, at least. All right. Got some more movements to do. Okay, so we're at the end of the movement phase. So lots of combat's going to be happening here. No shooting. Some cowardly running over here. And over there. So we'll come back with some combats. Okay, so we're doing some hero combats here. So we're going to do Balin versus this one orc who is going mm -hmm. to shield. All right, let's see what Balin can do. Balin can do double sixes. <laughs> okay. And dead. kills him. All right. Yeah. No problems there. We're going to do the King's Champion in one on just this bow orc. Roll that six. Five high. Oof. You got a dice. I do. And yeah, it's a six. You win. So he wins. Cool. We'll uh, strike the uh, regular dwarf. Go for it. Another six. Kills him. Nope. No, he's fine. End of the combat phase is pretty much tit for tat as far as kills and stuff goes both ways, which is not good for the dwarves. They really need to be killing more than wounds they're taking. So we're on to priority. Mm-hmm. And I'll set you a one. Okay. So not a one, not a one. You take it. All right. And I think I will call a heroic move with the king's champion. Um. Yeah. And I think I have to counter with the witch king's last yeah, might because you're sense. close enough to get in. Ooh, that so we are. let's see who gets it. Uh, it is witch king. the witch king. So take it away. We'll do some movements and then we'll come back after that. So the witch king's gonna go first as he has to. And we're going to toss a uh, one die transfix into the King's Champion there. So looking for a three, re-rollable. So we got a four. I will try to... Nope, I'll let that go. He's transfixed. Okay. So that means no heroic move from him. Mm -hmm. So we'll come back after moves. So we're at this particular barrel white right here. So he's going to try to use his last will to paralyze Balin, who's right there. So one dice, need a four. So we got it, Ooh, and Balin he's out of will, so yeah. he's paralyzed. All right, that's pretty big. End of the movement phase. We've got a bunch of engaged models once again. Swarg is trying to run over here to maybe offer a little bit of support. And then... Uh, we have one shot in the shooting phase from this dwarf over into that orc. He really so, hates that orc. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll come back with some combats. Okay, end of combat. So once again, it was basically an equal trade for the orcs and the dwarves. So unfortunate for them. So we are going to do the paralyzed roll for Balin. Mm -hmm. One dice, need a six. That's not a six. Not a six. He is All very right. paralyzed. All right, priority. Mm -hmm. Priority, party. You win it. And no might on the table. Uh, no, you still have might on your. I do. You know what? Uh... King's champion. No, I will not call a move. Okay. Take um, it away. So yeah, we'll just go with evil, and then we'll come back after that. This uh, Barrel White's last will is going to be used to try to paralyze the king's champion. So we'll see if he can do what the other one couldn't. Or I guess the other one did. Never mind. <laughs> so on a four. So we get it. I'll spend his will on this, I think. Yeah, might as well. And, and he's not paralyzed. It. Nice. Not this turn. Coming back to you guys with the Witch King. So he is going to toss a transfix into the King's Champion. Mm -hmm. So we'll do one, one will 
and uh, everyone is out of will, so just need a three, re-rollable. So there's a two, and there's and the three. Tries. The movement phase is done, and once again, tons of combats. Everyone's basically stuck in. Except for the random dwarves who are wandering off at the worst possible time. <laughs> That's right. The Deadmar Spectres sent a, a couple dwarves wandering. And then we've just got some stragglers just trying to be in zones. Mm -hmm. And we do have one shot from the ranger over there into the war driver. So we'll do that and then we'll come back with some combats. Finished up our combats. And the orcs lost three, but the dwarves lost four. So the dwarves are really close to breaking. So we've got another paralyzed check. And then Balin says he's out of might. So no, he's paralyzed. And then uh, priority priority roll. Ooh, oh. there you go. That's what you need. Uh, yep. That is what I need, but one turn too late. I have no might, so it's over to you. you. End of the movement phase again. And once again, we got a ton of combats. And no shooting this time, actually. Mm. So some spreading out here to try to get into the quarters. And then the big scrum in the middle, obviously. So we'll do some combats and we'll come back with those. And he drools a little bit on his beard and loses the fight. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The specter wails on him. Uh, yeah, so because he's paralyzed, the specter just wins. Yeah. And uh, Trapped because he's prone. Yeah, he's trapped. So I get two dice and I need fives on him. Is fives right? is correct, yeah. Because I'm attacking his courage, so nothing. Yeah. One dwarf fighting sure. a barrel white. Yeah. And he says, rah, and misses the box. Rah, three. Three? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Barrow White gets a four. You win. And then I am... Forced to kill him. Fours, yeah. So not quite. No. Right. Other one. This is the important one. Piercing Strike on the Vault Warden Shield against this uh, Barrow White. Yep. And that one has a wound on him, so... Still a one. <laughs> Don't roll a one. You okay. win. And a four will kill him. And no, no, he lives too. Yeah. And now all that we have left is the King's Champion. So that's over here, King's Champion versus four. Yeah, nothing fancy for me, just three dice. No okay. six, okay. Those, those rolls, you guys have been pretty par for the course for Rhett this game. It's mm. been uh, really unfortunate for him. So honestly. four dice for you. And I'm looking to beat a two. There we go. Which I do. And so sixes for the orcs and fives for the specter. All right, uh, we'll start with the specter. Mm -hmm. So one he gets one. He's down to one wound. And he gets two more. For the Specter. Because the Spectre should only be rolling two. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Yeah. But that would be one but of the orcs. One, so that, one that's a second orcs. wound from an orc. Yeah. Fate. He's dead. Okay. No, he has a might. He spends his might. Okay. He's live on one wound with nothing else. Okay, so we have uh, two more orcs to deal with him. Uh, uh, yes. So let's see. Nothing and nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right, right. and that leaves wound. us paralyzed. Right. He's still paralyzed. Okay. And priority. Well, that's decent. Five and yeah, a six. Yeah, you take it. And uh, I believe the dwarves are broken now. Yes, most definitely. So they'll have to do some courage checks. That so we will. we'll come back after movement. We're going to do the Witch King here in the movement phase. And he's going to try to black dart this Kazakh guard with two dice. So looking for a five. Get to re-roll one of these. And yep, there we go. And a five. three up to kill him. All right. He's and dead. we got it. So he's dead. Nice. The end of the movement phase. So basically for Angmar, what we did is we just uh, tied up a couple of guys. And then we plopped the Witch King in the middle to get as many guys as possible in Harbinger. Uh, and that ended up causing, was it six? Yeah, six, six out of ten dwarves. To fail their, their courage tests for breaking, uh, mm -hmm. which was really good. So as you guys can see, there is a bunch of us spread out to the four quarters. And I think we've got one, one guy shooting. Two guys. He's got throwing axe. Oh, right. So two guys shooting. And then we'll come back with all the combats. We'll start with the Witch King versus one over here. Ah, four. Mighty four, that's been pretty typical for Rhett. 
So and whisking six. wins. And fives will see him dead. Okay. So no, no fives and no might. Yeah, he bravely lies on the ground. Yep, so <laughs> Bolin's still paralyzed. So mm -hmm. let's see if I can do a wound to him at least. So there's one. There's one. And it's points for wounding the leader, so we will Correct. spend his fate. Nope. Uh, don't you get a six to... No, that's oh, Durian. Oh, no, that's Durian. Malin doesn't. So he is down to one wound, no fate. And then our last combat of the round is going to be the King's Champion versus All four. right, so he needs a six. So two, two, yeah. one. I think that's his exact same role. No, last last round it was two, one, one. Oh, you okay. win. So look, barely. I got a five and three twos. Yeah, and then he's probably dead. So we'll start with the uh, specter on five. Yeah, the dead marsh specter. So yeah, he's yeah. dead. And that ends the game. Yep. So dwarves yeah, are going to be down uh, to twenty five percent, and mm -hmm. that'll take us to the end. So we will tally up the score, and we'll come back to you guys with what it was. It's looking like a pretty. Yeah, savage pretty decisive from the Angmar victory. Angmar, yeah. But we'll we'll come back with the total points and we'll do a little bit of wrap up and go from there. We tallied up the points and it's going to be a uh, actually nine nothing mm -hmm. for Angmar. Mm -hmm. So two or sorry, three of the quarters were held double at, at least double over the dwarves, and then um, we did a, a wound to Balin. And then mm -hmm. we also broke him. So that'll give us the nine. Um, so as far as on my end, I mean, my um, Barrow Whites, I felt, were very good. They, yeah. they did exactly what they needed to when they needed to. And same with the Witch King. Yeah. And uh, apart from that, I mean, uh, I was pretty pretty nervous going into this because like all the dwarves have to do is roll a six, and then I just lose combats. But like you never want to blame dice but honestly Rhett's dice were just absolutely abysmal like it was pretty you, funny yeah you guys I, I threw six dice or i threw six fate and i failed every single one yeah and then and not only that but uh the combats that you guys did see where Rhett was rolling like a, a four high that was that was pretty typical for every mm -hmm. single one of the combats and I did, because you get some sixes and it was usually like three dwarves on an orc six three sixes to win three sixes to kill right so yeah but dice were just being bipolar yeah, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. because uh, I outnumbered him, I was able to just snowball it onto him. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunate. Um, it was, was a, 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 game a fun game, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, just like everything else with Middle Earth, like it, it's always closer than you think up until the end. Yeah. So, yeah, really fun. Always good to see the dwarves out, especially yours, Rhett, because they're, they're always so awesomely painted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so they die with style. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So if you guys like what you're watching, make sure to give us a like and subscribe. Uh, we appreciate you watching, and hopefully we'll see you again for another Middle-Earth Strategy Battle Game Battle Report. Mm -hmm.